Hey everyone, Chris here with another video. So today is going to be a quite important video for most of you that have the Zook Z2. Um, if you purchased this from a reseller, from let's say Gearbest, Banggood like I did, um, ever buying, things like that. Um, so usually they are going to come pre-installed with a international ROM um, on it itself where you're not going to be able to get OTA updates because it will break your device. So what we have to do is actually flash the Chinese ROM or firmware to go back to stock ZUI. So what we'll do is first we need to download a couple files. Um, we need to download the Zook driver and also we need to download the Xiaomi Mi Flash tool. We're going to go ahead and download both of those and I'm going to leave the links down below and also the link to the original um, guide that I used to begin with. Okay, so it looks like I may already have them installed, so good there. Alright, so here is actually another thread more for the Xiaomi the Mi Flash tool. That's going to also help you do that, give you the link for the Mi Flash. We're going to go ahead and just download that version, since that is technically the one that I did use, in fact. So the Mi Flash tool downloaded, it's a zip file again, so extract that. We want to now go ahead and run the Mi Flash, so go ahead and click on this button here. This will automatically install the proper drivers as well. You're going to want to, again, make sure that you are in the driver verification disabled mode in Windows 8, 8, 1, 10. So in order to do that on your device, I'm running Windows 7 so I can't really show you, go to your start and you're going to want to hold down shift and the power button or shift and then restart. It'll reboot um, and then you're going to want to go and select advanced um, and then reboot options and you're going to want to select, I think, number 7 to disable driver verification. Windows 7, you don't have to worry, worry about that. You're going to want to go ahead and just click on these um, prompts to install the drivers anyways. Should be about four of them. Finally, we need to download the actual um, file for the firmware. So there's a couple you can download. The official NuGet version is actually out now, um, which I will leave so you can choose if you want to download um, the NuGet update or if you want to download the Marshmallow. Um, I did find, since I've already done all of this, the Marshmallow is going to be, the Marshmallow ZUI version is going to be needed for you to flash other marshmallow ROMs such as uh, MIUI, um, that sort of thing. I did find that out during my me doing all of this. So I'm going to save you all some hassle um, and kind of help you all easier. So we have two options, like I said, the marshmallow, which is the 2.3, or the nougat 2.5. And both of these are going to be official from uh, Zook. So you can pick your, select your selection, it's up to you. I'm going to go ahead and just use the Marshmallow for now. Go ahead and download it. Um, I did find, following this guide here on the zookfans.eu, using the QPST program, um, the QPST program, that it actually did not want to flash properly, it would give errors. Um, so digging, digging around, I did find out that the Mi Flash tool um, is more reliable, um, so you may just want to ch try either. We're going to let that download, and I'll be right back. Let's go ahead and open our, and like I said, we need to extract this. And what we need to do is extract this to the root of your um, of a hard drive on your computer. So go ahead and extract it, uh, name it to something that you can easily find, um, Zook for example. Alright, that's going to take a minute. Now you do not need to unlock the bootloader to do this. Um, the reason why is we need ADB 
is so that we can boot into the EDL mode. So the, basically like an emergency download mode. So that way we can flash this firmware and we can use ADB to, to reboot it into that mode. Um, plus it's also helpful in case you want to unlock the device hereafter, which I will do another video, how to unlock a bootloader and flash a TWRP custom recovery for ROMs and stuff like that. All right, so next what we're gonna need is to ensure that you have ADB and fast boot options are installed on your computer. I went ahead and just have minimal ADB and fast boot installed and we wanna go ahead and start our command window wherever that folder is. You can download them from Google now since they've made these separate from the whole uh, Android Studio, um, or you can download the minimal ADB and Fastboot from XDA developers. All right, so what you're gonna need to do actually first is go into your settings. We need to um, enable the developer options. So first go to About Phone, and then you're gonna want to click on the ZUI about five times. I am running MIUI at the moment, so it's going to be a little different for you. Then we're going to go over to developer options. We want to turn on USB debugging, and then yours may show turn on USB 2.0. Um, you're going to want to go ahead and select that as well. And let's go ahead and plug your phone into your computer using your USB-C cable. You can go ahead and just plug that in. Alrighty. And what we can do is after you install the ADB, we can just check to see if the device is recognized. Typing ADB devices, it's going to start the connection. Now you just need to authorize key basically with the computer to allow the communication. Firmware. Now let's go ahead and go to MeFlash. We want to go ahead and run that in uh, administrator mode. We want to browse again to where our firmware is located on the root folder. All right, so now we are going to go over to our ADB interface and we want to go in ADB devices. All right, so you can see perfect. It's showing up there. ADB reboot EDL. All right, your phone all right, after we did the ADB reboot EDL, your phone will go ahead and reboot into that mode. Nothing will come up on your screen. So now we go over to the Mi Flash, go to refresh, and here is the device here. This is basically the port that the device is on. So if we go even to our hardware device manager, we can see under ports the Qualcomm QD loader 9008. So that is our device. What we then do is just click on flash. Um, we want to go ahead and select flash all this selection so that way it wipes the storage everything and then just click on flash. I'm not going to do that since I will lose everything on my phone um, and that's it will take maybe about three to five minutes and then once it will say it's su it succeeded then go ahead and just disconnect your cord Hold down the power button and it's going to reboot. And that's how you flash the stock official firmware onto your Zook Z2 Plus. Like I said, I will leave the links in the description below. Go ahead and follow those if you need to. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to comment and ask. I'll do my best to respond. If anything, you can always go to the Zook fans.eu community and post any questions that you may have there and so i really appreciate you guys for stopping by thanks for watching subscribe if you have not already so that way you get notified for future content and i will see you on the next one